NVIDIA might be working on a 20 gigabyte RTX 3080 Ti. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So recently there's been a lot of talk about a possible RTX 3080 Ti being created over at Nvidia in order to combat AMD's very well positioned RX 6900 XT graphics card they showed off during their big Navi livestream event. And now another leak was just posted by Twitter user Copite7Kimi, a link will be in the description below where he had this to say, quote, Jensen is testing many specs and the final one has not been determined yet. Wait. And then below he posted a bunch of different specs in various combinations, such as a card with 10,496 shaders, which by the way would be the exact same amount you find in the RTX 3090, one with 9,984, which would be a slight cut down, and one with 8,704 shaders, which would be a card that has the exact same amount of shaders as in RTX 3080. And of course then he posts that below that that there's supposedly going to be 20 and 12 gigabyte models that are currently being worked on. But of course we don't know, you know, what card is going to eventually see the light of day here but these are apparently the various different versions of the card that are being worked on so you could be seeing a 20 gigabyte rtx 3080 essentially with the 8704 shaders a 3080 ti with 9984 shaders with 20 or 12 gigabytes a 10496 shader basically full 3090 with 20 or 12 gigabytes and they could just be cutting up the bus into 320 bit bus versus 384 bit bus so clearly you know nvidia's in a little bit of a panic mode here after seeing the release of the 6900 xt which, let's be honest here, although it probably won't have the exact same amount of software features that NVIDIA is offering with its cards, you know, coming in at $999 versus the $1,500 card from NVIDIA and trading blows with it. Even with SAM and Rage Mode disabled, if the RX 6900 XT is even able to come close to a 3090 and it does it for $500 cheaper, well, it just kind of makes NVIDIA look a little bit silly. You know, it, yeah, sure, it might not have the full 24 gigabytes as well. It only has 16 gigabytes, but in all reality, no games are going to use over 16 gigabytes or at least I certainly can't think of one most games don't even use over 8 gigabytes yet and so you know having more than 16 well it's kind of a moot point unless you absolutely need that extra VRAM for some sort of workstation task but then at that point you know even though there might be some workstation loads that do benefit from the VRAM you're not getting the professional drivers that you typically would get with a Titan class GPU so you still might want to go out and buy like a uh, professional card from NVIDIA. This still might not quite do it for you. So, of course, looking at that, NVIDIA is probably scrambling here to release a card that is a little bit more competitive with the 6900 XT, probably going to be priced somewhere around $1,000 to $1,200 and some sort of a cut down from the RTX 3090. Now, there's a whole bunch of different variations that that could be, as we just saw in his tweet. But you know what? If this does end up being true, which, of course, this could just be, you know, some rumors going around, this leak could not end up being true at the end of the day. But you know what? I think where there's smoke, there's fire, and there's probably some legitimacy to this. So you know what? I think of all these combinations, there's probably two that stick out as being the most probable, and that would be a full RTX 3090 with essentially just half the VRAM cut off. So that means you'd get the full 10,496 shaders as well as the full 384-bit bus, except for instead of having 24 gigs, well, you just have 12 gigabytes. And I think that would be an easy way for NVIDIA to pretty much, if if not beat the RX 6900 XT, it could at least, you know, come really close and match it. Yeah, especially if you disable SAM and Rage Mode, then at that point, yeah, the 3080 Ti probably would end up beating it just ever so slightly. And then, of course, you get that slightly better ray tracing. You do also get, on top of that, the DLSS support that we just don't really see anything from AMD at this point. So that would be a good option for NVIDIA to do, coming in at $1,000 to $1,200. And then the other option they could do is, I think if they released a 9,984 shader version with 20 gigabytes of VRAM. That also would be a good option. They could do 12 gigabytes as well and give you the full 384-bit bus. But in reality, you know what? I don't think they're going to get a whole lot of extra performance out of giving you a 384-bit bus. So I think if they're going to cut down the card, you might as well cut down the bus as well. But you know what? I could be wrong. And Overall, I think the most likely thing that's going to happen is that you are going to get a full RTX 3090 with just half the VRAM. I think NVIDIA is going to be pushed to give you basically the full die because, you know what, the RTX 3090 from what I've seen, at least according to a chart I saw over at Video Cards, I can't recall where they posted it, but I, I've seen it a couple different times. 
supposedly the RTX 3090 is 98% of the die, so it's it's essentially the full die. And I think Nvidia is in such a bad position this time around that they pretty much are going to be forced to give you the full GA102 die. They're not going to be able to cut it down and still claim a victory because even with the full die, even with the full RTX 3090 with just half the VRAM, which by the way, it should be enough, I think Nvidia is going to be in a really tough spot. They're going to be drawing more power. It's going to be, you know, sometimes winning, sometimes losing. It won't be a clear win for Nvidia. They'll be basically having to push their software stack very, very heavily and say, hey, we have, you know, maybe slightly more stable drivers. We have, we'll have to see maybe AMD this time around will actually have more stable drivers. We don't know yet. Um, but what we do know is that Nvidia right now has a lot more features that are going to work on day one. So while AMD does have ray tracing support, we don't know how that's going to look on day one. We don't know when a DLS competitor might be coming out from them. I've heard personally that they're supposedly working on something, which of, of course they're working on something, but when in, that's going to actually come out, it could be, you know, two months, it could be six months, it could be not until next generation. I'm not entirely sure. So if AMD doesn't have a counter to that, well then that's something that Nvidia could definitely push. But you know what, if they do release the full 3090 with half the VRM, yeah, it'll make 3090 owners mad, but it's going to be a much better option for gamers who basically want no compromises because you're not going to really need that extra VRAM and you're going to get the same performance and you're going to be spending, you know, 300 to $500 less to get it. And so I think that's probably going to be a good option for Nvidia. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about this possible RTX 3080 Ti? Do you think that it could have 20 gigabytes? Or are you like me and you think that they're probably just going to stick with 12 because that's going to be more than good enough? I'd like to see what you have to say in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.